using your calculator for non-grouped data where you don't have any frequencies. First, turn on the stat function, second stat. We're doing one variable to statistics. We're only comparing one variable. It should say stat. Next, data. Press the data key. X1, that's saying what's your first data value? 48. Use the down arrow. Frequencies, how many of those do you have? Just one, since we're non-grouped. X2, 53. Down arrow. Just one of them. X3, 79. 58. Down arrow twice. 33. 47. If we don't have any in there, don't put a zero, just leave it blank. Press stat var. That'll give you your numbers. Things up top tell you what you're looking at. N is six. Use your arrow. X bar, the mean is 53. S, the standard deviation, 15.2. Keep using your arrow to find some of the x's and some of the x's squared. Grouped data. Again, make sure that your stat is on. If it's not, do second stat. Then hit data to enter your data. So my data, I'm going to put in my midpoint, 24.5. And there are 18 of them. Frequency, 18. Use your down arrow. Second data point, 34.5. Down arrow, frequency, 25. Make sure that last one's blank. If it's not blank, let's say there's a number in there, hit delete. Get rid of it. Okay. Uh, then stat var will give you your answers. Oops. <clears throat> N, this tells us what we're looking at. The N is 79, number of items. X bar. 39.9, standard deviation. Some of the x's is really sum of f times xm. Some of the x's squared is really sum of f times xm squared. When you're done, you can do second exit stat. Exit stat, yep. That will clear out our data values. So if you wanted to clear out your data values, then you could do that, and then they'll be cleared out if you just exit stat. Is your answers?